so we're gonna head straight down this way it's a, it's a little bit of a market area so we're gonna highlight this one and uh, give you a little idea where we're at right now we're in this little rotundra kind of thing little circular thing a lot of people just kind of hanging out today and there's kind of a Times Square feel to it but on a pretty small scale so anyways that's our focus down that way Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. We're going to go down to the market. Check out some of those that beautiful balcony. There's all those flowers of the plants. There's actually a lot of uh, market plant markets right in this area right here, right down below. So it kind of makes sense because um, you get all these plants and then you have those up there on the balcony too, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is head straight down this way. Then you can see um, this little marketplace come out of the sun a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna walk straight down that way, but let's just kind of go around the other side as well. The other side is uh, shady. <laughs> That's the reason I'm come, coming over here. Actually, there's a lot more people on this side too. Okay, seen by clothing. More flower shops to the left. These look like plastic ones. Yeah, those are all plastic flowers. <laughs> oh, I guess they have real flowers in the in the back, and then the um, these are display ones, so kind of draws in the attractiveness tra attractiveness to it. I think this is um, fresh fruits, so we got some blueberries there. It's funny; these are usually from. Um, Oh, these are from California. A lot of times these are from, like, they're from all over the world. So it's kind of funny because um, no foreigners are allowed to come into Macau for the last two years, but we get fruit, fresh fruit every day coming from all over the world. So, like, who touches that fruit and brings it in? I guess it's not a COVID risk. But it's interesting that fruit can come in from all over the world, but foreigners cannot. <laughs> but on the other hand, we're all safe, so. Another flower shop there. These are little patios in here. This walk, so we're gonna come back to this one in a second. But these patios are kind of cool because they're just little self-contained. So there's a tailor right there. Then you can't, like that'll be the end of that street, but then you can see all the apartments up there and then the end of this street as well. So patio de for now, Mendes Pinto. So all this would be under the same name. And this is basically just a bunch of tailors in this area. Clothing shops too. And some restaurants. Huh. Vietnamese restaurant. Love Vietnamese food. More, looks like more clothing shops. Maybe a tailor again. That one looks like a Taobao shop. Okay. So yeah, um, this is Patio de Fernal Mendes Pinto. So I think that the this street up here is probably called the Hua, the Fernal Mendes Pinto. Sounds about right. I think I read about that guy, the guy that the street is named after, and I guess his story is um, it's kind of cool too. All the um, it's another. Okay, so this area on Sundays, this would be usually filled with people from um, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, things like that. Go hang out in this little space on the Sundays. Okay, so let's keep on going up. It's getting kind of windy. Let's go down the other side of the street. Okay. Goodness. Okay. Lots of fruit. Okay. Barber shop there, only 50 mop. 50 mop is pretty cheap for a haircut. You can go up to like 450 easily.
Okay. So this street is called the uh, Rua de Fernão uh, Mendes Pinto, and I guess that that um, the the name of that person. Let's see, it gets, could go down that way in a little bit. The name of that person is um, named after a Portuguese explorer who wrote some books. It's a writer, and uh, I guess when I was reading about him, I guess he's uh, Mendes. I think is called menti something like that it's like to lie so they say that his, his stories are pretty exaggerated and this is uh, another street right here and that was our focus right down that way so yeah so that street's after named after a guy that's known to exaggerate and, and a writer from portugal who's a uh, pretty eclectic interesting guy because a lot of people write about him and, and uh i mean a lot of streets are named after him here um the little patio this little street there's another one Oh, this is called Who a Day for now, Mendes Pinto, and there's another one in Taipa called Without a Day. This uh, Who a for now, Mendes Pinto. Okay. So there we go. Go check out the room. Oh, hey guys. Three things: like, subscribe. Make some comments below, it'll really help out my channel. Alright.